We shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. T.S. Eliot, Deaf Poet. Hi, my name is Noah Henderson. I'm in class 502. I chose Harriet Tubman because she was a leader and impacted on a lot of people because she helped people that were slaves get to the north where they were free. Harriet Tubman was a nurse and a civil rights activist. Harriet was born in 1820 and died on 1913. Harriet Tubman was born into slavery on a plantation in Maryland. Harriet Tubman was also a leader in the Underground Railroad. The enslaved in the South would try to escape the Underground Railroad. This was in a real railroad. It was a number of safe homes. She led 19 different escapes from the South and helped around 300 people to escape. Harriet was truly brave. She risked her life and freedom to help others. Harriet's bravery and service did not end with the Underground Railroad. She also helped during the Civil War. Hi, my name is Arya McAlpin. I am in the fifth grade, and you may or may not know this person, a very special and important person who has changed black history forever. Her name was Shirley Chisholm. Shirley Chisholm was the first African-American woman to be elected to the United States Congress. Shirley Anita St. Hill was born on November 30th, 1924 in Brooklyn, New York. Her mother was from the Caribbean island of Barbados. She graduated from Brooklyn College in 1946 with a degree in sociology. Chisholm wrote two books about her life, Unbought and Unbossed in 1970 and The Good Fight in 1973. There is a Sh Shirley Chisholm Park in our community near the school that we enjoy and appreciate. Hi, my name is Risa from Class 501. The black historian that I chose is Frederick Douglass. He was born on February 14, aka Valentine's Day, 1818, and died in 1895. Three important things that Frederick did was embrace the women's rights movement, helped people on the Underground Railroad, and supported anti-slavery political parties. When he worked with the Underground Railroad, he freed about 400 slaves. A fun fact is that our junior high school is named after him. A famous quote that he said was, without a struggle, there can be no progress. Hi, my name is Ileana King, and I'm in the sixth grade. In honor of Black History Month, I chose Mae Jemison. Mae Jemison was the first American, African-American woman in, to become an astronaut. She was a part of the crew of the space shuttle in Devivor which orbited Earth for more than a week in 1992. Jemison was born on October 17, 1956, in Decatur, Alabama. She was the youngest of three children. When she was three, the family moved to Chicago, Illinois. Even as a young girl, Jemison was deeply interested in science. When she graduated from high school at the age of 16, she then received a scholarship to attend Stanford University in California. She graduated from there in 1977 with a degree in chemical engineering. After Stanford, Jemison attended medical school at Cornell University in New York City. She received her medical degree in 1981, she worked as a doctor first in Los Angeles, California, and then with the Peace Corps in West Africa. Jemison entered NASA's astronaut program in 1977. In 1992, Jemison flew across the shuttle in Devivor as the science mission specialist at the time, she was the only female African-American astronaut. After retiring from NASA in 1993, Jemison found her own company, the Jemison Group. The company created the new technologies especially to help develop countries 
Jamison also created an international science camp for teenagers. Here's a quote from Mae, Jem Mae Jemison. Don't let anyone rob you of your imagination, your creativity, or your curios curiosity. It was your place in the world. It was your life. Hi, my name is Malia Kelly, and I'm in class 502, and I will be talking about Ruby Bridges. Ruby Bridges was a child who played an important part in the Civil Rights Movement. She was one of the several African-American children chosen to attend an all-white school. Ruby Nell Bridges was born on September 8, 1954, in Tylerton, Mississippi. When she was four, her family moved to New Orleans so her parents could find better jobs. Ruby was chosen to attend the William Friends Elementary School. While Ruby was in this school, Ruby was threatened and also yelled at by white parents. Ruby was struggling because she was mistreated because of her skin color. Ruby was the only child in her first grade class for most of the year. Later on in life, as an adult, she became an author with her books called Through My Eyes that tells about her experience. She also made another book called My True Story that explained what she went through.